Uh, one of our listeners wrote in, uh, many men say that they are in an open relationship just to let you think that I believe, I'm not sure if that's written correctly, I just sense that they are not being honest. Is there a subtle or not so subtle way to test to be sure they are a free agent? I'm Reed Mahava from ReadAboutSex.com. I'm Stella Harris from StellaHarris.net. And Stella, you actually do some coaching around polyamory and things like that. Is there yeah. such a test? I mean, I don't really believe in, you know, tests and anything that sounds like a game with dating. When it comes to poly, you know, if you're not sure, ask to meet their partners. Um, generally, when you're doing some sort of poly dating, that's going to come up at some point anyway. Mm -hmm. Not everyone who has open relationships wants all of their partners to hang out all the time and be mm -hmm. best friends, but it's pretty typical for there to be at least one meeting so people can get a sense of the other person. So that's the easiest way to do it. Um, just meet their other partner, find out you know, who they are as a person, get to know them a little bit. I find that that often really helps with jealousy or any other hookup um, hiccups that can happen is when the person is somebody real and somebody that you've met and someone who maybe you like as a person, mm -hmm. um, it's a lot harder for them to become this sort of, you know, anonymous boogeyman, boogie person that you are then jealous about. So, yeah. Just and meet when, them. Um, for so for Tess, I once had somebody who was trying to pick me up at an event. Uh, there was a lot of poly people, a lot of swingers. Um, I didn't know this person. Um, and they said that they were they were married and that their husband um, and they were in an open relationship and so I was just like well can you call your husband and let me talk to them and they're like what and I'm like yeah like I mean I, I think I would love to hook up with you but I don't like bringing drama into relationships and so like can I just can I check in with your husband and they're like okay and that was a really yeah. a really weird way I'm not saying you have to do it that way but you know, how do you test? And it is often just to ask. Mm -hmm. um, I know in you're based in Portland, Oregon, but in communities where you can meet people in person or you meet them at events or munches or things like that, mm -hmm. that can be really great because you can also like get to know their friends and ask the community if they know this person yeah. and will vouch for them. That yeah. can help. Absolutely. And I think that when you're talking to someone in person, you also, you get a sense for them. You ask them about their relationships. You ask them about their relationship protocols and policies. And as if, if this is just a line that they throw out and it's not true, they're probably not going to talk about their follow-up questions with ease mm -hmm. and their ethics and, and how they practice um, is probably not something that they've really thought about if it's just a line. Mm -hmm. They could check out your resource page and then ask them if they've read any of the poly books. There you go. Make sure that they know who I am. That's that's a good <laughs> test. Yeah. Can they just call you and ask if you can vouch for? Can sure. you, this guy Bud I met on Tinder. <laughs> uh, is he poly? It'll be a new service that I add. Sure. <laughs> Stella vouches for them. Um, where can people find you? StellaHarris.net. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Hit the uh, you know share the video. Uh, leave a comment. What are some of the ways you would ask people to verify if they're poly or not? Boy. Hi. Boop. All right. Thanks for tuning in, Sex Geek. If you would like to continue with the brain sex, do me a favor and click subscribe right here. If you'd like to watch me on social media, that's where you're going to go. Next video, maybe? And if you really would like your own Sex Geek t shirt, please click right here, right now. Boop. No, no, really, like...